Hello guys, it's lovely to see you again and it's been quite a while since my last video but the weather was very very cold so I didn't go anywhere and today is the 22nd of February the temperature is 18 degrees, it's almost like spring and I decided to bring you along with me to visit the military museum in Sofia As you can see, I'm sitting here in um, where the outdoor exhibition is. It's quite uh, impressive to stand next to these tanks and airplanes because it's one thing to see them on a picture or in movies. It's a totally different thing to be able to stand next to them. Most of the outdoor exhibition covers the period of the Second World War, but the museum has a large exposition of military artifacts, weapons, uniforms, airplanes, tanks and other artifacts. There are two buildings with indoor exhibitions and uh, there are two yards with outdoor exhibitions. There are also permanent exhibitions and temporary exhibitions. So you don't really buy a ticket to enter the whole thing. You have to pay separately for each exhibition, which is a bit confusing. But uh, I think for the outside and the permanent exhibition, it's only 10 level, which is five euros. And um, if you come on the last Wednesday of the month, you enter for free. I was actually really lucky because today is the 22nd of February, it's the last Wednesday of the month and I managed to see all the exhibitions for free. Uh, inside you will see a lot of uniforms, weapons, there are a lot of military artifacts and it can take you up to four hours if you want to see everything in detail and if you want to read about it. Personally, I was more impressed by the outdoor exhibition and what I liked the most were the aircrafts. If you wonder what this Trabant is doing on the middle of the exposition, well this is Trabant 601 and it has become a symbol of the public aspiration of Bulgaria's association with NATO. This is a donation from the president of the Atlantic Club in Bulgaria, Dr. Solomon Passi. The machine just across is made to discover aerial objects and if you walk further down you will see a cool tank which is also a rocket launcher. So uh, now 
I'm leaving the museum and I want to go into the city center because there is a new food court which is called the Bohemian food court and I would like to check it out it was opened up in September it's uh, similar to those food courts in the malls but it's slightly more posh <laughs> and you can find uh, Mexican cuisine, Italian cuisine, Hawaiian cuisine and Bulgarian of course There is a large variety of food counters to choose from. The most tempting ones for me are the Mexican and Hawaiian cuisines, but I'm going to have to come back when I feel genuinely hungry. Since I've already had lunch, I decided to indulge on a pancake, but not an ordinary pancake with Nutella. This pancake is super thin with a feeling of rich, dark, homemade chocolate, fresh strawberries and cream. This combination tastes amazing and if you have a sweet tooth, I recommend you to try it.